When I started making videos, I didn't really focus on telling a story. It was more fun to just get shots of cool skateboarding tricks, playing paintball and epic travel locations and making cool edits of it. I made these kinds of videos for a long time, especially during my four years of world travel. But then something happened. What? I had a stroke of luck as I had just settled down in Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand when many countries closed their borders. Even so, I was stuck in one place and most activities weren't possible anymore. So I wasn't sure about the direction I would take with my videos. Not being able to constantly get something new or at least action packed in front of my camera just felt boring. But videography is my biggest passion and I didn't want to give it up. So instead of shooting random clips, it was finally time to actually tell stories with my camera. And surprise surprise, today I would say it was the best thing I could have done. It wasn't an easy start. At first I had to learn what makes a story and then how to implement it. So what do you need to tell a story in your videos? What's important to understand is that storytelling is far more than just making a vlog about what happens throughout your day or a trip. People say that a story always consists of a beginning, a middle and an end. But I think the words starting point, challenge and goal describe it much better because these words make it easier to plan your story. Simply start by asking yourself what is the goal of your video. This could be visiting a certain location in your travel vlog, mastering a new skill for a tutorial or knowing if a product you're reviewing is any good. So in effect you're actually starting with the end. The goal or outcome of the video can also change at any time and anything unforeseen happens during your vlog or you figure something out about a product that you didn't know before. After this you define your starting point. This could be having breakfast at your hotel, deciding which location to visit in your travel vlog, describing a certain skill you want to learn in your tutorial or a problem that a product you review could solve. The challenge or the middle is everything that happens in between. What's important in the middle of the video is to emphasize obstacles or problems that come your way while trying to move closer to the goal. In your travel vlog your motorbike could fail and you have to figure out another way to go to your destination. In your tutorial there could be some difficulties with the software you use or something even more exciting. And in a review you would put the product through certain tests to see if it holds up. The challenge or challenges during the video ultimately lead to the climax which is the point where you overcome the challenges and you're finally ready to reach the goal of your video, come to a conclusion or any other outcome like a lesson that you've learned. Especially when it comes to vlogging it's really important to think about that because problems are your friend in that case. Problems create your story as these are the challenges that you have to overcome. Of course the same counts for every other type of video. For example an inspirational video would not be inspirational if the character would not have to overcome challenges. It does not count for ASMR videos or lo-fi studying beats even if some of the sounds and songs could be a challenge though. The character is the next important part of your story. At first the viewer should care about the character which is why you must tell the viewer at the very beginning why they should care. You do so by simply saying what the character wants to achieve and if possible also make him relatable to the viewer by giving some extra information. I did that at the beginning of this video by telling you that I enjoyed getting random shots instead of telling stories as well as sharing some of my hobbies with you. This way you directly have a better understanding of who I am and you eventually like doing some of the same things. Of course you can make yourself even more relatable on camera by saying or showing how certain things make you feel like but to be honest I'm not that good at that, it's just harder to capture feelings with your camera than kickflips and landscapes. What's also important is showing how achieving the goal changed the character at the end of the video. What did he learn? How did his life change? Does he approach things differently from now on? This is a great way to end your video. And don't forget the character on YouTube is usually you. So as you can see the basics of storytelling are actually not that difficult and you can implement it even in videos such as tutorial and product reviews. Just give a character a challenge to reach a goal and let it happen. We've talked about the theory behind storytelling but the next question is how do you implement it into your videos. There are basically three ways to do this. You can either completely plan your video from start to finish, in that case you write a script word by word, record voiceovers and so called A-roll shots where you talk into the camera, then you would make a shot list and write down all the B-roll shots you need for the video and capture them. B-roll stands for the shots that show what you're talking about or that tell parts of the story without talking at all. That's how I made the video that you're watching right now. I'm I'm reading a script and everything is predetermined. Another way is pretty much the opposite which is unscripted. Unscripted does not mean that you don't plan anything though, you still think about or even better write down the goal of your video, the starting point and eventually an outline of the middle part so you already have a structure for your video in mind. But after the initial plan you just let everything happen in front of the camera. This method is especially useful for vlogging. The third way is what I call a hybrid. You plan and script parts of the video but you just let others happen. A good 
example of this is my recent how to start FPV video where I documented my journey of getting into FPV drone flying over a few months. I just let everything happen in front of the camera for a while and when I thought I have enough footage I wrote the whole script for the video, shot a few more sequences to fill some gaps in the storyline and edited everything together. This video also has a very good example of making the character relatable. I used a running gag where my girlfriend was mad at me every time I got a new drone, something a lot of drone enthusiasts can relate to. I would say all of those three methods make sense for different kinds of videos and fully scripting your videos might sound a bit less fun but I would definitely recommend doing it because it teaches you so much about storytelling and it also lets you think a bit differently while getting your shots and sequences so it's a good training overall and it's actually a bit more fun as you might think. Apart from that, it's always important to start your videos with a very good hook at the beginning. Really ask yourself what the viewer needs to see in the first 5, 10 and 30 seconds to make them watch the rest of the video. It can be pretty much anything to make them curious about what's coming. When it comes to actually shooting your story-driven videos, it's not much different from getting random shots. The main differences are that you should capture more sequences instead of single shots and you should think more about what to include in each shot and what to leave out because that can have a big impact on your visual storytelling. And especially when it comes to vlogging it's also important to remember that you don't have to use every single shot you got and you don't even have to show everything that you did in that vlog. So better capture a bit more footage as you actually need and if something is boring you can still cut that out in the edit. Storytelling on YouTube and other social media platforms is a bit special for this reason. Because our attention spans are quite low when we're consuming social media content, our videos have to be straight to the point. It's not like a movie that the viewer paid for where they are likely to watch the whole film. It's your mission to tempt them into watching the full video. If you don't, they stop watching early. I must admit that it's not like you're telling perfect stories instantly just by knowing these things. It also took me a while to improve the storytelling in my videos and I would say it's a never ending process because you can always find ways to improve your storytelling but there are certainly things that you can do to tell better stories faster and here are three. The probably most fun way is to simply watch movies and other well-performing videos and look for how they tell the story and keep the viewer engaged. Next time you're in the cinema don't get too sucked into the movie and instead remember to look at the storyline and how it's implemented and shaped. Another way to improve your storytelling quickly is to create many short story-driven videos. For these videos don't focus on the production quality that just slows you down. Instead, just come up with an outline or a word script for your story, use your phone to get all the shots quickly and edit everything together. Practice makes perfect. If you think it's worth sharing, upload it to YouTube or any other platform and if not, just keep it for yourself and share it with friends until you feel confident enough. And the third way to improve your storytelling fast is to join my new course Storytelling for YouTube. In this course we dive deep into storytelling as a content creator. You will learn everything I know about how YouTube works and I will share my actual YouTube analytics with you because I have videos that perform really good and others that do really bad. So there's a lot you can learn from my statistics and some things might actually surprise you. After that we will dig deep into storytelling and what to focus on. I will show you my whole process of researching, planning and scripting my videos plus I give you my best tips to show shoot and edit your videos to tell better stories. This course is also part of my Learn with Pascal platform, so if you become a full Learn with Pascal member, you get this course plus six other filmmaking courses, all of my presets and access to our Facebook group for a huge discount. I put both links to the storytelling course and Learn with Pascal in the description below, so check them out. Looking back, I remember that thinking of telling actual stories with my camera felt more like work instead of having fun with it. And that's not completely wrong. Great storytelling is work, but this kind of work actually makes a lot of fun. It gives you the ability to make your videos a lot more powerful, which makes you proud of what you create and as a side effect, it becomes a lot more likely that you become successful on YouTube. That's what I've noticed. The videos where I tell stories generally do better than others and there is a much stronger connection to my audience as many comments show. It doesn't mean that I don't shoot randomly for fun anymore though. Oftentimes I use footage that I shot randomly as gap fillers in my story driven videos. This way I can actually make more productive use of my free time without making it feel like work. So if you haven't done so yet, try it out by yourself. Use this tutorial as a starting point and tell stories with your camera. There's one more thing that I want to mention here which is that the question of if it's too late to start on YouTube always pops up again and again every year and I would clearly say no because there are so many videos out there that 
that have good informational content but without any story. So there's still a lot of potential to make existing content better or to add something completely new that I would still say we're just at the beginning. So if you want more information to get started telling stories and make YouTube a better place, check out this video here in the corner where I show you how I plan and script my videos or join my course, the link is in the description below. Get back again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Shit.